So I wanted to record a video so I can give an honest perspective of the direction I plan on going for the next, I don't know, six to 12 months with my training and my nutrition. But I think it's also kind of cool because it'll give you guys a perspective of how I think about training. So the way I think about my own training is probably no different than I would approach working with any of you guys. Um, right now I have, so I always have some medium term, short term and long term goals. Uh, my long term goal is always to get as strong as possible. That is my long term goal. Um, you know, my long term goal is to deadlift 600 pounds, right? I'm 36 years old, two, three more years, hopefully I have a shot at that current max is 560. Um, but within that I build in various goals that I think will get to that. Um, my medium term goal, right? My medium term goal is usually in the neighborhood of like six to 12 months, something like that. So right now I'm in the middle of a fat loss phase. I had bulked up to 200.2 pounds in April. Uh, and the plan was to start a fat loss phase where I'm trying to maintain as much muscle as possible. So that fat loss phase continued throughout the summer, um, went okay. Um, at least the diet part of it went really well. Training obviously was hindered for a few reasons. Uh, one, because I tore the plantar fascia. Two, because I was figuring out some knee stuff. So it, training went okay, the diet went really well. Now, the goal of this medium term phase was for me to get the leanest I have ever been. I'm a person of extremes, it's the way I do things. So I was the heaviest I had ever been at 200.2 pounds. My goal was then to get as lean. So it wasn't really a body weight number. Um, I was really looking at body fat percent and you know pictures as well. Um, so that was probably in the neighborhood of like seven to 8% body fat uh, is my current goal for this medium term block. Fast forward, I knew it was gonna take a long time uh, and I knew in the back of my mind, I, I was probably gonna have to take what we call a diet break. So, you know, when you're dieting, um, whether it's adherence, whether it's like decreasing your metabolism, which is a thing sort of, um, dieting for more than three to four months straight can be challenging. Um, so I had intended to build in a diet break. So what is a diet break? Simply where you up your calories. Um, if you wanna say restore your metabolism, that is slightly a thing as well, uh, but it's also for training. So I, I took a diet break because I built in this short block where I was trying to maximize strength. Um, you know, this short block was about four to six weeks. Um, my goal was to really get up to a 405 pound squat. I'm at the end of this block right now and the 405 pound squat doesn't look like it's gonna happen. I didn't even try to attempt it. I'm probably in shape for about 385 to 395 right now, but I felt because, you know, I had my plantar fascia, because I was working with some knee stuff, I didn't wanna push this block and really just attempt 405. So I decided over the past week not to attempt 405. Um, and this really also coincides with the end of my diet break. My diet break was, uh, I think three, three and a half weeks long. I was eating probably like 2,200 calories before the diet break. And I can tell you, I was definitely feeling the effects in my workout. Um, I, I definitely felt lethargic. 2,200 calories is fa fairly low for me. Um, so during my diet break, I didn't really track calories that much. I really kind of just ate what I want during my diet break as long as I was hitting protein. But if I were to guess, I would probably averaging about 3,000 to 3,200 calories um, per day. You know, like on the weekends, especially during Sunday, football is probably getting over 4,000 uh, during the week, maybe 2,800-ish, something like that. Um, my body weight before my diet break was approximately 178 to 180 every morning. It was really 178 to 179 every morning before the diet break. Now over the last three, especially over the last week, I've been waking up around 183, mostly 183 each morning. Um, so, you know, I, I bumped up about four to five pounds on my diet break, and that's really mostly just increased glycogen or carbohydrate storage. Maybe I put on a pound, pound and a half, um, which is all fully expected. Now, again, my goal is to get as lean as possible. What's my body fat percentage during this time? Probably about 15%. For some reason, I seem to be holding a little bit more body fat than I would have liked. I, I, 
I feel like I should have gotten down to about 13 or 14 percent body fat um, so I'm gonna make some changes to this next medium term block so now that I've finished my diet break I'm gonna go back to uh, cutting weight um, you know once again I'm about 183 maybe 16 percent body fat um, I'm looking I'm probably gonna get down to about 170 give or take maybe you know 167 uh, and really I'm looking to get down to that 8% body fat. I'll probably make a second or third video kind of outlining a little bit more of the specifics of nutrition uh, that I'll be following for the next three to four months. And I do expect it to take about another four months for me to get down to about 170 or under. So that's what training looks like for the next three to four months, training and nutrition.